Hey guys, so we've got a new Marvel trailer, a Phase 4 trailer. So I'm not going to talk about everything that we see in it because I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I'm not really too excited about the Eternals and um, the Black Panther 2 movie. There's nothing wrong with them. They look amazing. They're just not my favorite Marvel movies. I'm more excited for Spider-Man. Doctor Strange and most importantly Thor because I am kind of obsessed with this guy right here who is finally get he getting his own TV show which is long overdue finally coming to Disney Plus soon but anyway let's have a look and check out this new Marvel trailer. I love being with people. It's the most incredible thing in the world. What are you doing? Oh, this is nice. That world may change and evolve. But the one thing that will never change, we're all part of one big family. Mm, so true. I really miss that movie escapism. We're just not getting enough of it anymore. <laughs> Marvel, you're tugging at my heartstrings. On your left. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. I have to rewatch all the movies again soon. I love hearing that theme music, it just gets you excited, right? Black Widow, I'm so excited for the Black Widow movie. I really want to see her and the Winter Soldier together. Like when they're both evil. We have unfinished business. Who's we? I'm not too excited about Shanghai, I've got to admit. All of your Eternals, but I still think it looks really interesting. Spider-Man! Wakanda forever! Wow, lots of stuff to be excited for. Phase four. So I think that all of that looks really good. I'm really excited for, like I said, for because I think, especially because Taiti, Taiti, why can I never say his name? Taiti Wataki, you know the director that I'm talking about, that um, produced for Ragnarok. I'm so excited that he's back because I think that he did a really amazing job. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are excited about. I thought that the whole Stan Lee voiceover was really well done. It definitely, you know, it tugs at your heartstrings. And yeah, I'm definitely thinking this is just about trying to get people back into the cinema, let's be honest, but it is time for people to start coming back, so it makes sense from a business perspective. And I, for one, am really happy that I'm finally getting to go to the cinema again, at least here in Sydney, Australia, where I live, because even with all the kids being noisy and the people on their phones, there's something about being in that shared experience 
that really elevates the movie watching experience. So yeah, so please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos from me and give this video a like. Thanks guys.